What's going on everybody? This is Cam Hillier from Miller's RV in Baton Rouge. It has been a while, but today we are here to compare the Micro Mini 2108 TB by Winnebago and the Mini 2327 TB. Let's check them out. So before we go any further, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to our channel, turn on post notifications, and then dive forward. So this video is for someone specifically who's looking for a travel trailer with twin beds. So we're gonna discuss the difference between, brief differences between the Micro Mini and the Mini, both by Winnebago, just some sizing differences, but this specifically, basically if you have a, a half ton truck and you can tow, you know, 6,500, 7,000 pounds, whatever it may be, you might wanna go with something a little bit bigger than a Micro Mini. So if we're looking for a twin bed floor plan, we've got a couple different options here. We've got the Micro Mini and the Mini. So this is a 2108 TV behind me. It's gonna be about seven feet wide. Interior height's gonna be 6'4". It's got a bunch of really cool features and it's really, really useful for someone who has like a Tacoma or a Colorado. Um, I like this floor plan, but we're gonna compare this to a little bit bigger and see what you can get. Let's check out the inside. So inside the Micro Mini 2108 TB, uh, you can see I'm, I'm pretty close to the ceiling here. I'm about 5'11". So these these ceilings are 6'4", so it is still pretty roomy. Um, you've got the slide here. Now the slide on all the Micro Minis, depending on if you get the couch or the dinette option, they're a little bit raised, especially with the with the dinette option. So that can kind of be a little weird, especially for sometimes older couples. It's, it's kind of tough to step up like that. For younger people, it's awesome. I don't mind. I like to be sitting up a little bit. But this is one contrast of the Micro Mini compared to the Mini. The Mini has a much bigger slide. The slide sits down flush. You don't have to step up or anything like that. And we'll show you that shortly. Um, now behind me, we've got the twin beds. Again, the key of this video, both floor plans are going to be twin beds. So with this, just as to most Micro Minis, just about every floor plan they make, it's not a true bedroom. You have a curtain that separates you off to give you a little bit of privacy. But essentially, this is just open space, which is nice because it does feel open, but at the same time, there's no privacy if you have anyone else sleeping with you. So two twin beds here will make out into a king bed. I, what I really like on the twin bed floor plan on, on both this and the mini, there's cabinets all up in the top here. So you get much more storage, whereas like the, the 2108 DS floor plan with the Murphy bed, um, there's, there's not really any storage behind that because your Murphy bed has to fold up. So you have two closet spaces, but you don't have the overhead bin storage. So I do like that about twin bed. Both floor plans have that. Okay, we're gonna breeze through, take a quick look at the kitchen, and then show you the bathroom before we hop in the 2327 TB. So I'm standing by the kitchen here. This looks pretty typical for, for a lot of the 2108 micro minis. So you actually have decent countertop space because you have the stove cover here, you've got sink covers, and then you've got a little leaf that will flip up uh, to give you extra space there. So this is nice, 21 foot trailer. Counter space is at a total premium, so we've got good spacing here. Um, when we flip over to the 2327, you'll see how it opens up even more. So again, this video is really, if you're like, hey, I know I want a twin bed, but I've got, you know, I, I've got a, a F-150, I can tip 10,000 pounds. I want something smaller, but I might be okay with a full-size trailer, like an eight foot wide trailer like the Minis. So this is just to compare the two twin bed models that Winnebago makes in, you know, relatively similar sizing. Uh, so I, I like the countertop space on this. this is a plus for the 2108. Then we'll move on back to the bathroom and compare those two. So now we're in the back of the 2108 TB and it's a good sized bathroom. Um, I like that we have cabinet space here. We can hang stuff by the rod there um, or we can put linens here. I, I really like that the 2108s, all, the DS, the FBS and the TB, they all do a really good job in the bathroom. It's pretty much the same. Um, but I really like the shower for this. This is actually one thing that the 2108 the, or the micro mini does pretty well in this floor plan compared to the 2327 mini um this is actually a really good size shower the mini shower I, I don't know the exact measurements but i think they're about the same which is surprising for such a smaller trailer but with this you know you, you're still a little confined um you do have nice cabinets a good size shower when we flip to the to the mini you're gonna see how much more it opens up it's really really nice let's check that out all right, so now we're gonna jump into the 2327 TV. This is a new floor plan for Winnebago and their minis. Uh, it's actually not even in most of the brochures that you'll get. It's not even in those yet. Uh, it's a really, really awesome floor plan. It's been out for a couple months, but they haven't updated the brochures yet. We really love this floor plan, especially for me. I like the twin bed. I like to be able to make it into a king and, and have that big bed or also be able to have the flexibility to be able to camp with a friend and, and we have two sleeping areas. So it works well there. Um, you can tell it is taller 
So the exterior is taller, the interior is about six inches taller. So your ceiling height, you feel more roomy. It's eight feet wide instead of seven feet wide. So, you know, basically if you're towing it behind, like sometimes depending on the vehicle, you may need tow mirrors. Now this thing weighs in dry at about 6,000 pounds. You've got 2,800 pounds of carrying capacity. So fully loaded, your GVWR is six, or 8,800. Um, but still, the, the 2108 dry weight is about 40, let's call it 4,200 compared to 6,000. So it's, you know, if you can tow a little bit more, you get a lot more for this Mini. Now the Minis are not for everyone. A lot of people, the Micro Minis work well, especially a lot of people don't have the full size trucks now. But I think there's a lot of benefits when you compare these side by side, the 2108, 2108 to the 2327, that I really think you're gonna like on the Mini. Let's check on the inside. Okay, so we're inside the 2327 TB Mini. And you can see behind me, space. This thing's got space galore. So it's got one slide here that opens it up really well. A U-shaped dinette, which I love because it's not only is it comfortable to sit back and, and watch this 45 inch TV, it's also really comfortable if you want to drop it down. It a, makes a bigger bed for your guests. And on top of that, you just drop it down and just like want to hang out, use it as a futon. That, that works really well too. Um, so I really like that. Kind of has a, how I mentioned uh, about the slide of the micro mini. So, your micro mini's slide is going to be raised a little bit, especially in the 2108 floor plans. Whereas the mini, the slide sits flush, the full size trailer. So everything is all at the same level right now. It's really, really comfortable. It's, you know, again, when I, some people are older, maybe you have bad knees, bad hips. This works a lot better to sit down into something this level instead of having to climb up uh, to sit in the, in the dinette on the micro mini. So you can see it's really big here. We've got a 12 volt Dometic refrigerator in this. We've got our twin beds in the front. So we'll, we'll get a little closer to that in a, section, in a minute so you can see better. But it's the same idea for the twin beds. Now the bedroom is a little bit wider, so it's a little bit more spacey. you still got the cabinets all over the top. You've got a small TV in the bedroom as well. So two TVs total in this. Uh, it, it's really roomy. So like I mentioned with the 2108 TB in the micro mini, you have that overhead cabinet space, but you lose the closet space that they have on the, on the 2108 DS or the 2108 FBS. You get some side closet space on that. With this, so you still have the same overhead cabinets, and then to make up for that closet space, they have uh, one big closet space here on the driver's side, and then two smaller cabinets where you can put more folded clothes. Storage in this thing is, is very, very impressive for a trailer this size. Now, and the surprise here, a little, a little extra special for you, it's actually a 50 amp trailer. So I think 50 amp is honestly probably overkill. Even in Louisiana, usually you, you probably don't need two AC units in this, but you have it. So you've got a 15,000 BTU ducted AC, and then you've got a 13.5 in the bedroom non-ducted. So even on the hot days that we have here, it's gonna cool no problem. Uh, and again, 50 amps, so it's fantastic. You've got a gas and electric hot water heater, standard on all the Winnebago travel trailers. Um, and then the bathroom is something I want to highlight on this. Fantastic bathroom. Okay, so we're in the bathroom now. And even with our wide angle lens, you still can't capture how roomy this bathroom is. So big shower, like I said, I'm not totally certain of the shower measurements between the micro mini and the mini, but this seems even a little bit bigger than the micro mini. So a huge shower, it's really, really roomy. With your toilet space, tons of room, a, a pretty common problem in the micro mini. I, I wouldn't say a problem, just one of the complaints I get about the bathroom. And since it's seven feet wide, all your space is tighter. Elbow room when you're sitting on the toilet can kind of be uncomfortable from some feedback I've got. This, you're not gonna have that problem at all. Now, you've got stat storage in the bottom and you've got like medicine cabinet storage there. And then actually, in your uh, little cubbies here, this is great for, I mean, toilet paper, towels, clothes, I mean, whatever you want. This is tons of extra storage here that you don't get in the micro mini. And feels a lot more roomy. I love the natural light that comes in here. You've got a skylight here as well as a powered vent here. So this is a really nice bathroom. I think this is probably my highlight of this mini floor plan. Either this or the uh, massive pantry that you get as well. That's always a big plus. Extra storage and bring more food. I like snacks. So that works well. So <clears throat> we'll show you the pantry real quick. And then we're going to jump to the bedroom just so I can show you the things I talked about earlier. So I just want to show you this pantry real quick. It is huge. Let go! Yeah, it's so big at Echo. This thing is awesome. I'd say this pantry is great. So you can use it as like coat storage. You can put your shoes in when you get in from the campsite. Uh, get mud all through the trailer so we can keep our shoes in there, keep our food in there. It's really nice. We don't have to waste storage in there for food. Um, let's check out the kitchen too. The kitchen's great. Okay, so we're in the kitchen area now. 
this is actually a, a win, I think, for the Micro Mini. So even in a trailer that is, you know, five, six feet bigger, the countertop space is, is not that much different. Um, it, it's really not. I mean, you really don't get a whole lot of more, a whole lot more counter space on this. Um, I still really like this. I like the corner sink, kind of caddy cornered. I, I, I think it's very accessible. It's comfortable to use, um, but it's not as, it's not a huge difference between the Micro Mini and this. So that's, again, a plus for the Micro Mini. Um, but you get the cabinet space here, bigger cabinet space down below. Um, you don't exactly have the, the same type of storage on the Micro Mini as expected with it being more narrow and shorter. Um, so also, this is one of the newer Winnebago's. All the, all the Micro Minis and Minis from here on out will have JBL speakers. Much better sounding quality than the, than the standard trailer speakers that have been coming for years on, on different uh, trailers across the industry. Those, those were horrible. So actually good sound now. It's fun to listen to. It's not like you know screaming white noise in your ears. This is actually pretty good. So I like this kitchen, but on this one I'd have to give the edge to the 2108 TV Micro Mini. Let's check out the bedroom. Okay, so we're in the bedroom now. It's much more roomy. It's a whole foot wider, so as expected. Um, but behind me, you can see these look probably about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger than the Micro Mini, but you still have this overhead cabinet storage, which I, which I really love. Um, you've got your little ledge here to put your phones, your, your CPAP, different devices um, you can put up there. And then you've got the twin bed. So same as the Micro Mini, um, just a little bit bigger where you've got the twin beds that will also make out into a really comfortable king bed. So in here, like I discussed uh, a couple times in this video, the 2108 DS and the 2108 FBS in the Micro Mini, instead of having all this over top storage, they have some side space for, uh, for like hanging clothes as well. Now the 2108 TV does not have that. The 2327 TV that we're in right now, the Mini does. So you've got the overhead storage here, you've got hanging clothes here, you've got more cabinet storage there and more cabinet storage here so you've got also a sliding door so this is a true bedroom as i talked about on the micro mini it's it's really just a curtain in between so it, it's it's nice i like it. it it's very open but not truly privacy um this is actually very you know secluded if you want to be um and it can be very comfortable and homey also you've got a tv in here so those of you who like tvs typically when i camp i only watch tv when i'm done for the day or if it's rainy but this gives you the option to uh, you know, whenever you wind down, you don't have to, you know, fall asleep on the couch. Instead, you can just come in here, turn on the news, turn on the movie or something like that until you're tired. So I really like this. We've got our second AC unit above us. This is the non-ducted 13.5. So again, 50 amp trailer. So the two ACs, the electric hot water heater, the 12 volt fridge, we can run all that with no problem. Um, but it's nice to have this, even though, like I said, I think two ACs might be a little bit of overkill. It's gonna help you a lot. Like whenever, you know, you're just getting off of work on Friday, you drive two, three hours to a campsite and it's in the middle of summer in Louisiana. It's hot or in the middle of summer, really, it's been hot all over the country. So it's in the middle of the summer, you get to that campsite and you want it to cool down quick before you go to sleep. So instead of relying on one AC to cool this 27 foot trailer, you turn on both of these and, you know, if your guests are hot in there, at least you're definitely cold with the second AC unit here. So I, I all in all, I really like the mini a little bit more, the spacing. Uh, is, is obviously a lot better and for not a huge price difference between the two I think the mini offers a whole lot more so if you have the capability of towing you know like I said 6,000 dry weight but fully loaded to 8,800 so you know you want to leave yourself a buffer if you if you are able to tow this I might lean towards this instead of getting a smaller trailer I just think this really offers a lot of great options but we'd love to show it to you and, and you know let you tell us you know what you're looking for so we can find out what works best for you but we're happy to do that we're happy to chat with you we're happy to give you opinions on whatever you'd like so we appreciate you guys stopping by as always enjoy the journey hey thank you so much for watching we hope you enjoyed it please let us know if you have other questions you want to answer and if you have nothing else to do watch one of these videos here subscribe so you know when more are coming out have a great day and enjoy the journey